Let's find the most high quality image of the radio. I know that the video has a more scaled up image of the radio. And in order to stop playing, or why is it so low quality? Because it's 360. Give me 4K. Thank you. Now that we have an image of the radio, specifically the one, this one, you can take a screenshot of this and we can put it into reverse Google image search. Oh, this is a side tangent. If you Google popular, you get this sites that cool thing. Um, I think it's just some guy who made it and then he places ads and uses cookies. This also is for a Google Classroom, a thing. I have not seen anybody mention it. And it redirects you to Google, no matter what you do. If you, wherever you go, it redirects you to a, like an actual Google website. If I keep on going here, what does this, yeah. Let's redirect to Google Classroom. So I actually have no idea what it's doing. Um, I had to restart my video there. I am so sorry. Back to this. So let's take our screenshot that we took, whatever it may be. That's the video I had to stop. And let's see if we can find the make and model. Oh, it's already trying something. So. Why did you remove my picture? I actually need to see it. Um, let's do a comparison because there could be more models. It's from Silverstone. Standard broadcast frequency modulation. There's a little S. There's three dials. They have labels. There's a speaker. It's an audio plug. Um, I do need to put this on a second monitor, which kind of sucks. Let's try doing this, yeah. Um, can't even plus, what the hell. So if we, if I could look. So let's try, oh you fucker, Google Chrome. No, we're not, not Google Chrome, just Google in general. I hate it when they can't, I can't zoom into the image. I want to see it bigger. Can I look up the image? Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Um, so we have here radios. These look similar. They even match the shape of it with its whole there's no shortcut to actually zoom out of it. What the hell? It's shape. Except this one is looks like a, it looks like a little bit different, but it could just be because of the perspective. Got the S three dials. Um. Okay, so we have six three three six three three. This seems to be it. Sadly, this image is so low quality. Is this the thumbnail? Yeah. It's 225 by 225. Hope it's not 225 by eating eBay. No, it just doesn't show the image. Um, go in here, we have um, the numbers match up, the labels match up, the dials match up. So, would I'd say it's a pretty close call. However, there's one thing that doesn't match up, which is it's a speaker foam. Because you can see it's different. Now, if it's different here, the coloring is different, but I'm just gonna say it's lighting. For the sake of it, there's a dial missing, whatever. But we do know something. It's a Silverstone Bakelite case top tube, whatever. So that's something we'll have to remember. It's actually. So we know this. It's this. It's a Silverstone, yeah, it's, it's a Silverstone Bakelite 
cable to you. That's fucking expensive for our parts. We can see it matches up. And if we look at the dials, the numbers match up. So it's a pretty good estimation that it's the same. Do we have a view from other sides? Yes. Okay. There are no inputs here. I'm going to assume that the audio cable does not belong to the radio. Um, oh, okay. Good, and we got this. So that's probably where it's produced. I'm just gonna write everything those. Roebuck in life? There's Roebuck. There's even a manual. But. Oh my god, it has seen better days. Caution, remove. Yeah, sure. I understand. Oh. Is this a schematic of where the tubes and transformers are? Looks like you see the dials. AM. Okay. Let's Google all the names we found. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm in the big. Radio history and archive.org seem like the perfect website. Okay. Huh, well, that's a list of a lot of radios. So let's find S. Yes. Silverstone, CCS Rubric. Okay, sure, whatever. CCS Rubric, let's find. It seems, seems like, like none of these match any of these numbers. numbers. Actually, there's one thing too, but I don't think those are case names. I'm trying to find 1820. Give it our best shot, go to page 150. Page 150. Chassis. 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 It's close, it's close. but uh, it's not the exact number. number. So let's search a little less ambiguous. George. What is George? It's another PDF. Man, how dare you! I'll trade you for your FCC license. 877.4. This seems like a good thing. It ha yes, okay, that's good. Let's start us. Um, okay, this seems like an exact make and model. We have the little things, you have the green, we have the S. And it is fitting with the schematic we found on here. With its components, transistors being placed the way they are. Transistors, what are my tubes? Um, okay, so eight, eight vacuum tubes. What did you ask for again? Let's make it a list. Can I add tables? Probably, I don't care. So, what about cube tubes? No, what about cube tubes? Okay, so let's see if we have enough information for this. Yeah, yeah, there they are. These are all the vacuum tubes. I'm going to assume 
seems like it. Can I kind of just directly copy the text now? Write them down 6BA6, 6 12A7, 6BA6, 6BA6 again, another 6BA6, 3 times 6BA6, 12 at 7, 1 12 at 7. I'll format this a little nicer. One twelve at seven. Seven. Um, one six B E six. One six T eight. And we have one. God damn it. One. 6v6 gt that's a lot of six <laughs> um one times six x four those are all the vacuum tubes that are in it and total eight. Because, yeah okay so let's find the other stuff the model number i guess we kind of already found it it's a chassis number. But. Oh, use the years. Oh, why fuck you formatting? Let's just type it 1950 until 1957. That's a fucking short period. Why is it you so smart? No. One nine hundred and one nine hundred. Oh, sorry, microphone. Then we have the model number. I think that's a pretty identifying thing. It's like it's not really the model number. I was able to find it using this, so I am going to assume that it is this. It's some sort of codec. I think there's multiple because I saw a white one earlier. So it could be like this is the identifier for the radio and this is the same extras. But that's just a guess. Um, so. Color equals brown. See many different chassis. Is this. Okay, so apparently this is Arvin. This is a manufacturer code. Good to know. So I was kind of right with the assumption that it's a coding system. Um, yeah, Silverstone 20s are the 87s. So we know this is the Silverstone 1820. Mm. Yeah. This. So it's the Silverstones. Got I think this is the link we already have. Whatever. Good to know. Back to here. Schematic. It's time to find a schematic. This is a catalog, collector. Mm. There we go. So that seems like chromatics you have to fucking what i'm never going to use this so it's rather more easily said i'm just going to I just close the tab. Whatever. I just opened the other tab again. No, fuck, where was it? Uh, here. So we found the schematic. They want me to buy something. But if I just scroll in 
enough unless it's a preview. Eh, it's a preview. But that seems very important and there's some capacitors. And I'm um, <clears throat> now I am so saddened that I have to fucking request it. Is this common? What is this dot for? I hope it's not like a uh uh thing, but um yeah. That seems like a schematic. <laughs> Yay! Uh, see my balls uh, somewhere in here. And yeah, that's exactly all he wants, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching.